What up, slackers? Slacker out here. Welcome back to Vampire. Uh, so I tried recording an episode getting to Dawson's place, and I hit a snag on the way. I didn't really make any progress. So I tried recording an episode before, but uh, I'll explain to you. I'll, 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 I'll let, let me get in, and I'll explain. So what had happened was I tried recording. And I never didn't make any progress. All I have to get into Dawson's house and or his mansion. And I don't know how to get into it. You didn't miss much in the last episode. I was sure. Shut up. Uh recording for three episodes three hours and no progress at all. So all I did was go through the sewers, get here, and I've been trying to figure out how to get into his damn mansion. So, I have no idea, and the indicator, the little red Y indicator that usually gives me a hint, was around here somewhere, and I don't know, it's, it's gone now, it doesn't show on my map either, it was around here, where my thingy is, so I don't know, I found a hideout, but how am I supposed to get into the mansion. There's that guy, Usher. Yeah, his name is Usher. Like, for real. But, how do I get into the effing mansion? I don't know. And I kind of don't want to turn Dawson into a vampire. He seems... Everybody always... Everybody seems to, like, say bad things about him. And he's not the greatest of guy. Just imagine him being a vampire. I don't know. The Baker Brothers. What has happened to the London that I knew? Yeah. Sure. Hello again, Dr. Reed. <sighs> Baker Brothers, help me out. Should I just kill them? They seem depressed. They don't even want to be here in London. What are you doing here? May I ask what you're doing outside at this hour of night? I don't know. You should ask my brother instead. It was his idea in the first place. You must have your own ideas. From what I have managed to understand, I guess we're supposed to wait here. Waiting for someone to come. Okay. Tell me about what your brother. You tell me about your brother. He's older than me. I think. But the important thing is that I really hope I'll die before him. Grief would just kill me, you know? Is that all? Pericles is very attached to this city, and without my insistence, he would never leave this place. We don't often agree on anything, you see? Mm-hmm. What can you the tell me about this part of town? It's the only place I've considered myself happy. Or at least that's what I believe. Unfortunately... It's time to leave. Why is that? Because I'm not feeling happy here anymore. Are you? Uh... No. No, I'm not. Good for you. It's a good thing to have a clear idea of where you stand concerning crucial questions. Don't you think? Sure. Personal questions? Let's see, how long... Tell me, how long have you been waiting here? I can't say for sure, since I have no watch. But the night is still young, and I am not tired. Is that the most honest answer you can give me? Yes, I think so. Why does it irritate you, sir? Is comprehension really that important to you? Mm-hmm. Um... Uh... I I'm a scientist. I try my best to understand things. I know the world has to obey unbreakable rules. You know, or you want the world to obey such rules. Mm -hmm. I know one thing. I do not understand who you are. And it's better that way. What kind of life would we live if we could summarize a person in a few words or a few lines? Sure, sure, sure. 
Who exactly Who are, you? are you waiting for exactly? The more I think about it, the more I believe it's not exactly a person we are waiting for. But what else could it be then? I don't know. A feeling? An event? An impulse? How can I tell? Something that would allow us to leave this trap. What kind of I'm trap? I'm afraid I'm not following you. What kind of trap are you talking about? Have you ever felt like life trapped you in a role that does not fit you? That you are not in your place? That sort of trap. Hmm. Trap? And you think leaving London will free you? At least it will give us the chance to be free. That's more than our present situation. Hope, Doctor. Hope is what truly drives mankind. Okay. If you finally manage to leave London, where do you intend to go? A happy place, that's for sure. A place where I can smile because I know the next day will be better than the previous one. Such a place doesn't exist. There are never any guarantees that tomorrow will be a better day. That would mean I have no hope left. And I just can't accept such a conclusion. You sound depressed, dude. Goodbye uh, for now, Mr. Baker. How, they're saying something about traps. And Good evening, Mr. Hmm. Baker. Hmm. Why do I always have feelings of deja vu when I talk to you? I don't know. Uh who are you waiting who for? Who are you waiting for? I'm sure he has a name. I really can't answer that question, since I don't know that person. And why is that? This person is mostly my brother's acquaintance. I don't even know his real name. Only that this man could help us leave this city once and for all. But why would you need this person's help to leave London anyway? Well, I thought we should have left this cursed place already, but my brother convinced me to stay a while longer. And here we are. Okay. How long have you been waiting for this man? Sometimes I feel as though I've been waiting for him for ages. Perhaps it is my role in life to wait for him. Not a pleasant thought. It could be dangerous for you, waiting here all night. That's quite true. But what other choice do we have? We are waiting here until we finally go. <laughs> Mr. Baker. I have met many strange people during my life, but you are definitely one of the strangest. Pretty much. Really? I don't feel particularly odd or weird. All I want to do is leave. What's wrong with that? Why are you still waiting for this person? What would be the point of going before meeting the man, as he's going to help us leave? Okay. Please, what are you going to do now? I don't know. Perhaps it's time to leave. Perhaps we should stay a little longer. How can I tell? And where exactly are you thinking of going? In a place where I will finally have that feeling. To be where I belong. The world has to be meaningless chaos to make such a heaven plausible. Okay. Uh... Pericles. Tell me why your brother disagrees with your presence here. Agamemnon is naive sometimes. Mm hmm Although don't consider him a fool, sir. He is often more lucid than me. At least you both have the same difficulty explaining what you're doing. And for what reason. But is that not a common problem for all mortals? What can you tell me about your brother? If you are searching for a pleasant chat, you should speak with him instead of wasting your time with me. He has always been the more gentle of us. That's it? That's all you can tell me about him? For the time being, true kindness is the most valuable quality, my good sir. Okay, I'm just wasting time talking to you guys. Goodbye, Mr. Baker. Jesus Christ.
Is this the way? Is this the way? Is this it? Have I been dumb this whole time? Of course I would be dumb this whole time. Please tell me this is it. Oh, I think this is it. Finally, Jesus Christ. Finally. Dawson's mansion. Here I am at last. Yeah, here I but am. The question remains. I don't am want I to. Am I ready to make a dying man my progeny? Uh, no. Don't want to. Don't want to at all. He sounds like a bad guy. I'll see what he has to say, but... I'm kind of 90% sure I don't want to. Anything? I'll take all his shit. Get rich as fuck. I go upstairs before I go down there. Damn, a whole bunch of doors. Newspaper article. Anything? Shillings. Could always go for shillings. Okay. I think both downstairs or upstairs would lead me into the same room. Anything? Anything? So I was at the back side of his fucking mansion. And that's why I couldn't find him. Or I couldn't find the entrance. Okay. All this shit. All this shit. Give me all of it. It's locked. Ugh. I want it open. I don't want it open. Alright, let's go downstairs. Over here. Anything? Anything? Ooh, another it's save. Locked, all right. Please be dead already. Please be dead already. I don't want to. Finally, you're here, Doctor Reed. What took you so long? I had to cross <sighs> several of your barricades and outposts to access your mansion, sir. Death, yeah. pestilence surround us. Plus, I don't want to. Time is against me. There's a bitch to find you. I see you've gathered some of the most expensive, albeit experimental, blood transfusion equipment available. All this could be so useful in a hospital. Yes, yes. Since Lord Redgrave sent me a doctor to perform my conversion, I thought you might find some of these devices useful. Most thoughtful. But tonight I'm not here as a physician. But I feel reassured that a specialist such as yourself would help me to escape the Reaper. Very well. But before I proceed, I have a few questions for you. If you must, but be quick, for I don't have much time left in this life. First of all, I need to be sure mm. that you know exactly what is going to happen to you, sir. I can assure you I'm as informed as any man can be. I have planned for this moment, Dr. Reed. Planned very carefully. Uh. Um. This so looks like I'm a going minutes. to end your life. Do you not wish to discuss the procedure for even a minute? I don't have a minute to indulge in idle chatter. I can't feel my legs and the cold. So cold. Ah. Uh. Uh. 
What do you know about the guard of Prewen? What I do know is that I'll crush anyone or anything that would dare to oppose me. Um... I will become your maker. Do you understand what that means? Well, I certainly won't consider you my liege or some such drivel. You can be assured of that. Hmm. So far I'm not liking his, his answers. You'll need to feed on warm blood. Blood from mortals. How do you feel about that? I'm rich, Dr. Reed, and powerful. I'm sure I'll be able to acquire all the blood I need without ever having to sully my own hands. Mm. Let's move on then. Please, I'm cold and tired. I feel my life waning with every moment. But first, before you embrace immortality, what would you do with such a gift? That's a rather impertinent question, Dr. Reed. And I will do as I please. Answer me all the same. What will your first action be? <laughs> I don't want to. To save London. I will finance the most efficient quarantine ever seen. I will build a wall that will separate the sick boroughs from the healthy ones. Who gave you the right Who to decide? Who gave you the right to decide the fate of thousands of people? My money. My money and my pending immortality gives me the needed authority, Doctor. I'm a businessman. I'm used to tough decisions. You really uh, plan to build a quarantine wall across London? Yes. It will be tall and strong, separating the wheat from the chaff. What? By doing so, you will also create two separate prisons. Come, sir. An eminent doctor like yourself knows that such radical measures have proved efficient in the past. Let me guess. You mean to isolate the rich from the poor. This is a desperate measure for desperate times. England must prevail, doctor, no matter the cost. No, yeah, I'm not. I'm gonna eat you if it gives me the chance. I'm gonna let you die. Quarantine I already know. Not a bad idea, medically speaking, but I'm convinced this epidemic will not be contained by mere walls. As long as the right people are on the right side of the wall, that's all that matters. Wow. But you can't guarantee infection will not spread. Just one contagious carrier would be enough to create an apocalypse. The apocalypse is already knocking at the gate. We must be strong now. Mm. What if a new outbreak happens inside your walls? You'll have created a giant trap. That won't happen. As long as we dispose of anyone that is contaminated as soon as they are spotted. Wow. Yeah, I've heard enough. I've heard enough. It's time to proceed. At last. All right, do what you have to do. If it hurts, so be it. I've been preparing such a long time for this. Turn your... Charm, forget your fear of dying. Uh, I don't want to kill him, per se. You sacrifice 2,000 MP in the process. I'll make you a vampire. Uh, yeah. I'm not, I don't want to kill you, because then... He'll be like, oh, you fucked up. You killed him when I told, when that, he ordered me to turn him into a vampire. But if I kill him, that's on me. But if he doesn't want to die, all of a sudden, or he doesn't, doesn't care about dying, then, you know. But he could also see maybe he can find, notice that I charmed him into wanting that. But let's do this. Listen to me, Aloysius Dawson. You will forget your fear of dying, for it has poisoned your mind and made you bitter and ruthless since the death of your twin brother. You don't understand. Death is oblivion, the eternal void. 
I know there's nothing there. I saw it in Robert's empty eyes. I mm. saw myself in that coffin. Death is painful for those who remain, not for those who have passed. All that occult gibberish you filled your head with has made you forget this simple truth. No! Death will not claim me. I have the power and the money. I've acquired the arcane knowledge needed. I believe there is magic. There are dark forces. You will provide me my extension. Your ignorance makes you a fool. You have no idea. Look at me. Hunted like a beast. My family lost. Cursed. I have not escaped death. I have become it. No, there must be a way. I don't want to go like my brother did. I have money. Lots Who of money. A fuck money if you have money, dude. Mind. Exactly. I know you used to be a good and generous man. So I offer you the gift of peace, Aloysius. The tranquility of a true death. I accept your offer. And I understand. No more fear. I will die a man of dignity. And a man at peace. Um. Okay. Is he dead now? Are you dead? You're dead. Okay. Can it's I get into locked. your sh- How can I get into your shit? I wanna get into your shit. What? Where are you telling me to go? Okay. Well, you're dead. Now what? Now what? Okay. There must be a way to get into his saves, right? I want that money. It's locked, all right. I want that money. Hmm. Is there anything I didn't get? I do need a new house, by the way. Ooh. Who, who are you? Oh, you're Redgrave. Um, about that. He died. Uh, he died. Is it done, Dr. Reed? Is Aloysius Dawson reborn as expected? I'm afraid Mr. Dawson finally chose to embrace life and death as a mortal. What do you mean? He has overcome his fear of dying. I let him rest and wait for death to come. What? This is unacceptable. Go back there and make him the powerful Econ he's destined to be. No, Lord Redgrave. As a doctor and as an immortal, I can't. If you wish to make him your progeny, then proceed on your own. This is an outrage beyond words. Mm. This is betrayal, pure and simple. I should kill you on the spot. You swore on William Marshall's blood. Well, get rid of me then. From now on, you're an outcast. Oh, fuck. Banished. You are forbidden to ever appear in front of us again. Ascalon will smite you on sight, and your heart will be thrown to the rats. I'll leave you then. Have fun with your puppets and shadow plays, Lord Redgrave. Yes, go, traitor, and Damn. take an awful creature, that counterfeit of a woman I saw waiting for you, and be gone. Oh, shit. Step away, traitor. Return to your dubious friends and your decrepit hospital. Do not dare show yourself again, you or that monstrosity you bring to my door. Okay, bye. Damn. Holy <laughs> shit. He was pissed. He was pissed. Oh, are you? Oh, Bridget, what are you doing here? We meet again at the strangest of times, young Econ. So do you serve the Earl of Bristol now? Old Bridget. 
What are you doing here? Your friend, the Wise Econ. She sent me to warn you. Mm. How did you meet How her? How did you meet Lady Ashbury? She came to us in the sewers in search of answers. Just as you did. Mm. What, what kind, of, kind answer? of answers did you give her? I knew nothing of your maker, but we talked. We talked a lot. Her words and ideas are captivating. It is no surprise that you like her. I like her too. Hmm, okay. Lady Ashbury in the sewers? Now that's a sight I wish I'd seen. She said she was your hmm. friend, and that she sought the identity of your maker. So I answered her questions. Okay. Did anyone see you? It's a long way from the dock sewers, and hunters are patrolling the streets here. Who said I took the streets? How do you think I survived for centuries in this city without ever being seen? I know all her secrets. Oh, all the secrets. I'm like, whose secrets? But the city secrets. Lady Ashbury. You know her. Tell me what's going on. The lady approached me but a few nights ago. Uh -huh. Wanting to meet the sewer skulls. Once she questioned Harriet Jones. She agreed to help us. Harriet Jones is still with you then? How is she doing? Harriet yeah. remains angry, but is recovering slowly. Her mind is twisted, but at least her body is healing. Tell me what is going Ooh. on. The lady asked us to keep an doesn't, eye on your mortal doctor doesn't friend. Doesn't sound all that away. great. We spotted the hunters. They were discussing plans to attack tonight. Ooh. Wait, slow down. I need to ask you something. I'm listening, but I do not have time to waste, so be quick. Oh, it's only gonna give me one. Um. Why do I feel like Lord Redgrave was particularly irritated to see you? Far more so than the average skull, if I may say. Because I used to know him quite well. And mm? he's afraid I may remember who he really is. You're Elizabeth's informant. You're the one who told her about Lord Redgrave's lies regarding his lineage. Yes. <laughs> but my words were not meant to hurt or threaten. I simply told the story of the sewer skulls. And of so many other forgotten children. Mm, okay. Where is Lady Ashbury right now? She said she will go home. She needed to speak with some old friends first, though. Do not worry, young Ekon. She is no fool, and just as strong as you. Okay. How did Elizabeth find you? She presented herself humbly at our gate, and asked if we knew of any ancestral vampires hiding in London. She asked about Ascalon. She asked about many things. Okay. I mean, I already know what you think of her. Why did she come to you? Why did she come to you? I am old Bridget, the buried memory of the city. She sought the silent truths, truths I have kept hidden for so long. All right, I already know how you feel. Okay. No time to lose then. I must go there right away. I shall return to my den. Have you a message for the lady? Should I see her before you? Ah. Uh, tell her I love her? I don't know about that. Tell her we need tell her I worry about her. Tell her we need to tell talk. Tell her we need to talk. In the end, is this not what we all need? Go now and take care, young Ekon, for the flames are rising. Okay. Okay, okay. I'm gonna go. 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 Let's go. Shit. Okay. Okay, old Bridget. Bye. Where do I need to go? All the way back to the hospital. Alright. Let's get a move on, I guess. That way. 
I do have some XP I would like to upgrade. Hmm. Should I... Should I do that now? Wait. That's right. There's there's a f freaking right here. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Let's upgrade. And then let's go. Upgrade and go. Upgrade and go. Come on. Wait. It said tonight. No, I might I might I might I've done that before. Or there was a few side missions and I was supposed to help right away, but since upgrading takes cause uh, it causes for you to sleep till the next night, the the mission you f you fail the mission. So yeah, I don't think I should do that. I think I should get there right away. So let's just keep going. Which way? That way. Ah, uh, fucking vampire. Alright. Fucking bitch. There you go, bitch. Okay, let's go. Let's just go, let's just go. Oh shit. Oh god, come on. God damn it. Are you from Ascalon? I don't care. Oh my god. Don't care. Just go. Fuck you guys. You guys don't play nice. This is bullshit. This is bullshit. You're all bullshit. This is all bullshit. I'm gonna leave. I'd never come back. Come on. West End. Let's go. Women of all countries you know. Women. Women die Women. To this war. Women die to you. No, 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 just keep going. Just keep going, just keep going, just keep going, going. Go, 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 we go. I see. What the hell? There we go. Let's see, is there, do I have any? Nope. Shit. Nope. Just keep going. Maybe I'll speak to Mary. She's here. She's right here. Come on, come on, come on, Mary, I want to talk to you. Where are you, my beloved Mary? 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 Personal diary, huh? What does it say? 
tonight I went to I went with mother visiting the sick at the east oh this afternoon two men tried to corner me in a back alley while I was campaigning for the women's rights to vote I called for help as loud as I could like my mother told me I don't know what would if a soldier had not ordered them to leave me alone he then walked me back home and tried to kiss me I refused he did not say a word and left the whole story made me so sad I still cry mother woke up after the night huh whatever okay Large key probably giving access to Oswald Newton's shelter. He shelter South Park. Okay. Uh. Baby girl, where are you? You up here? Are you changing? Are you? Let me know. Uh, to inspiring lady, there are darkness. Okay, sure. That's locked. Uh, come on. Hi. What are you painting? You painting me? Is that me? Damn, girl, you love me, don't you? Elizabeth, I'm so happy to see you. I was so concerned. Oh, Jonathan, mm -hmm. I went to the docks. The place heaves with lurking scowls and vampire hunters. So many corpses. I have not seen such misery in so long. Indeed, we stand upon the precipice. Uh huh. Has the news reached you of Edgar Swansea? No. I returned home but moments ago. What of him? Your friend, the well-informed old Bridget, tells me the guard of Prewan has assaulted Pembroke. I fear Edgar tops their bloody list. Bridget? She is such a tragic figure. And yet, mm -hmm. I sense deep inside, she has a delicate, fragile soul. Yeah. Um, you I despise. Had the you despised scowls, and now you find them delicate. You have persuaded me, Jonathan. It has been a very long time indeed since anyone has changed my opinion of anything of note. I was concerned for your safety. Uh huh. Uh huh. Column draws too close to you for my comfort. Fear not. I've evaded the hunters for many a year, and I intend to stay far from their gases, flames, and spikes. Now, speak to me of Dawson. I can not even have any baby. I embrace death as the ultimate gift of mortal life. I believe he found peace in the end. The cost must have been heavy indeed. I am proud of you, my love. Ascalon has defied me and threatened Damn. to hound me from the city. Mm. But this was no doubt inevitable. You did what you thought was right at the time. One can ask no more. The important task now at hand is to help poor Edgar. Now I am assured of your safety. That is precisely my intention. Good. Now go, my dear. And my return dear. with good news with the greatest haste. Yup. Alright, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Let's go. Where? Wait. 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 This way. Down here. This way. Uh. Okay, let's go. Anything in the closet? No? Anything over here? No? Uh, how do I get into the safes? Whatever. Come on. Let's go. Shit. Alright. Just run past. Just run past. No time for bullshit. Hi. Bye. Uh, whoa. Oh, really? Just go. Uh, 
Can I go through this way? Come on. Looks like I can. Oh, fuck that. Nope. Nope. Bye. No, thank you. Um. Gimme? Gimme? How do I get up there? This way? Um... And then... Let's go. Anything? Give me. Come on. I thought this place was un thought this place was under attack. Okay, let's go talk to Swansea. Back at the old hospital. I haven't been here in a while. Those bastards. What uh, have they done to Edgar? Edgar! Looks like he's wounded. I better follow the blood. Oh no. This way. McCullum and his thugs are taking the credit for Edgar's abduction. They really mean business. Yeah. Okay, blood that way. Here to go. Blood this way. Up here. Finally, I get to go this way. It's been locked off. Okay, handprint. Blood. Anything over here? Oh, they're both unlocked. They both lead to the same place. Okay. Wait, I want to upgrade before... Because knowing this, this is going to be a boss fight. Okay, they're doing something shady down there, but I'll look at that later. Let's change up my clothes. Get something fancy. Something fancy, something... Yeah, that's my business. My don't fuck with me clothes. That's what that is. Okay... sword still uh dragon bane what the fuck does that mean all right whatever uh shotgun Okay. 
Never. Let's go over here. Do this. Let's upgrade this. Uh, you have learned to use your claw strength and now strike with a stunning effect. Okay, confirm. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Come on. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Over here. Follow the blood trail. Going down the elevator. See what's going to happen. Ooh. 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 Uh, hello. Light? Ah, ah, fucking me with light. Uh, ultraviolet curtains and ori powder. Ah, Dr. Swansea's ah, always been a resourceful bastard. Ah, I bet he never told you he had this installed in case of a vampire attack. Ah, mm-hmm. Ah, says a lot about how much he trusts you. What have you done with Edgar? Don't worry. <laughs> we don't kill humans. <sighs> Even if your friend is deserving of a little punishment for what, what are you talking about? We know everything. What do you know? You created this bloody epidemic. You aim to unleash another disaster, just like William Marshall did. No, I'm trying to put an end to it, just like you are. You're a progeny, aren't you? Where is the monster hiding? It's still in England, isn't it? I have no idea what you're talking about. Jeffrey, please listen to me. No tricks. Yeah. That shit won't work on me. We've no found tricks, proof in the theater. Doris Fletcher was your first experiment. Now where is Marshall? Speak! Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You're fucked up. So much for modern technology. You're stupid. Time for the tried and true. Do you know what this is, beast? This is a drop of King Arthur's blood. The blood of a true defender of Britain. Stronger than your evil powers. What did you just string? Ridiculous. We're losing precious time. True enough. Soon I'll bring your head before your coward of a father. Your poisonous bite is useless on me. <laughs> Close your eyes! This is gonna hurt. Whoa, whoa! Alright. Alright, well, I'm going to have to end the episode right there. I don't know, he's not listening. He thinks I'm causing the problem? I'm trying to help, dude. And you're getting all your fucking... Ish you're fucked up. You're not listening. You got your shit crossed. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you liked the video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe down below. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.